Welcome to the University of Georgia's virtual celebration of academic excellence. This event celebrates the contributions of our faculty to each component of the university's mission of teaching, research, and service. The 2020-2021 academic year has presented many challenges to the university community. But throughout these difficult times, we have persevered, adapted, and used our expertise and resources to help those in need. I have never been prouder to serve as president of this great university. In this celebration of academic excellence, we will recognize the faculty members who are changing the lives of students through their instruction and mentorship. We also will recognize faculty whose research and scholarship are advancing knowledge for the benefit of our state and world, as well as those who are engaging in impactful service and outreach. We will begin with our teaching awards. The charter that created the University of Georgia as the birthplace of public higher education in America is one of the most significant documents in our nation's history. It refers to the youth as the rising hope of our land, and it draws a direct line between their education and the prosperity and vitality of our state. Our first set of awards during this celebration of academic excellence honors the 2021 recipients of the Richard B. Russell Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Teaching. The Russell Award recognizes superior classroom instruction by faculty early in their academic careers, and it has been sponsored by the Russell Foundation since the early 1990s. We are deeply grateful to the Foundation for its long-standing support of our faculty members. I am pleased to invite the Honorable Steve C. Jones, United States District Judge for the Northern District of Georgia, to say a few words on behalf of the Russell Foundation. Judge Jones earned his Bachelor of Business Administration degree and his law degree from the University of Georgia, and he is one of our most dedicated alumni. Thank you, President Moorhead, for welcoming me today as the representative of the Russell Foundation. Richard B. Russell devoted his life to public service. Among his many accomplishments in the Senate, he chaired the Armed Services Committee and advocated for the National School Lunch Program. The Russell Foundation is proud to continue his legacy by supporting outstanding faculty members who are inspiring the next generation of leaders. Congratulations to the 2021 recipients of the Richard B. Russell Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Teaching. The future of our state and nation will be shaped by the students in their classrooms. Our first recipient of the Richard B. Russell Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Teaching is Jennifer Birch, Associate Professor in the Department of Anthropology in the Franklin College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Birch has transformed how archaeology is taught at UGA, making the archaeology field school a learning experience that engages students throughout the entire process of research, from design to testing, skill development, writing, and culminating with professional presentations. Dr. Birch's pedagogical style focuses on creative learning communities that develop trust as a basis for critical thinking. Her teaching approach walks students through historical circumstances of core anthropological issues, giving them a unique perspective and understanding of the field at large. Dr. Birch also has redesigned the Anthropology Capstone course to focus on professional development and preparing students to succeed in both academic and applied postgraduate career trajectories. Our next Russell Award recipient is Jonathan Peters, Associate Professor of Journalism in the Grady College of Journalism and Mass Communication. 
Dr. Peters is an internationally recognized expert in mass communication law who encourages, guides, and challenges his students to think critically and creatively about legal problems and solutions. He uses humor and innovative assessments to bring to life all manner of difficult concepts. In addition to communication law, he has taught feature writing and travel writing, the latter in Prague. He also has co-taught a first-year odyssey seminar exploring free expression on university campuses. His impact and influence go well beyond the classroom. Dr. Peters is co-author of a widely adopted textbook on media law, and he is a frequent commentator on First Amendment issues for several news outlets. Our final recipient of the Russell Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Teaching is Emily Sahakian, an associate professor with a joint appointment in the Department of Theater and Film Studies and the Department of Romance Languages in the Franklin College. Dr. Sahakian is a multifaceted instructor of theater and French language literature and culture, often teaching courses that bridge both areas. She incorporates experiential strategies like staged reading and translational workshops in her classes to encourage a more open and active learning environment. She has created new service-based learning options through courses in community-based theater. For example, she co-taught a split-level class in which students from UGA and Spelman College worked together to produce a script eventually titled By Our Hands that was performed as part of the university's 2019 Spotlight on the Arts Festival and subsequently at Spelman. Our next group of honors is the Creative Teaching Awards, which are institutional recognitions that celebrate excellence in developing and implementing teaching methods that improve student learning. Our first recipient is Leah Carmichael, a lecturer in the Department of International Affairs in the School of Public and International Affairs. Dr. Carmichael creatively reimagined her study away program, The International Politics of Food, that was originally scheduled to take place in Verona, Italy in May 2020. She focuses on issues that drive participation in study abroad programs and restructured the course to study how students' personal food preferences tied in with national, religious, political, and economic phenomena. A Creative Teaching Award is also presented to Tina Carpenter, Associate Professor of Accounting in the Terry College of Business. Dr. Carpenter transitioned her Forensic Accounting and Fraud Examination course, specifically her award-winning fraud simulation online. This transition provided collaborative learning opportunities that encouraged student engagement from afar. Combining data analytics, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills, students worked in small groups to apply complex fraud detection techniques to a UGA-centric fictionalized case, allowing for a hands-on experience. Our next award recipient is Jennifer George, a senior lecturer in the Department of Human Development and Family Science in the College of Family and Consumer Sciences. Dr. George is recognized for her work in the science of studying human development and family science. In this class, she guided students on using qualitative data from the Richard B. Russell Special Collections Library. Students used first-hand resources to understand and interpret research and incorporate that research into meaningful written assignments. Our final Creative Teaching Award is presented to William Hollingsworth senior lecturer in the Department of Computer Science in the Franklin College. Anticipating the challenges of teaching in a hybrid format, Dr. Hollingsworth adapted his custom-designed online tutoring program, GraphState, over the summer of 2020 for his classes. His willingness to further make the tool available to his colleagues and more broadly throughout his department shows his passion and dedication to teaching and learning. It is now time to recognize the senior faculty who are being honored with the Josiah Max Distinguished Teaching Professorship. Josiah Max presided over the university's first class of graduates, and he established a tradition of excellence in instruction that remains with us today. The Max Professorship is the university's top teaching honor, and it underscores the high value the institution places on educational excellence. This year, the university is awarding five max professorships. 
Our first recipient is Joseph Gass, Professor of Financial Planning in the College of Family and Consumer Sciences. Dr. Gass is recognized across the country as a pioneer in academic service learning, problem-based learning, and other forms of experiential learning in financial planning. Over the course of his career, he has created and implemented a range of innovative clinics, centers, programs, courses, and internships to enhance student learning. He also co-published his field's first textbook on client communications. Dr. Gass co-founded the UGA Aspire Clinic, a multidisciplinary teaching clinic for financial planning, family therapy, and law students. He also co-founded the university's master's and doctoral programs in financial planning. He created the nation's first financial planning clinical practicum course, developed and taught the nation's first course in financial therapy, co-founded the College Schwab Financial Planning Center, which is designed to promote experiential learning. Our next recipient is John Mativo, Associate Professor of Career and Information Studies in the Mary Frances Ernie College of Education. Dr. Motivo motivates students to be creative and persistent by making his teaching relevant to real-world applications. He developed a robotics laboratory at UGA where students learn kinematics in a simulated industrial setting. He also established and lead the UGA student chapter of the Society of Automotive Engineers, now known as UGA Motorsports in the College of Engineering. The group created the university's first ever student design and build formula SAE car, which has participated in college competitions with 80 other US and international institutions. Dr. Motivo shares his expertise nationally and globally he has contributed to the development of a robotics curriculum for elementary school students that have been used in the US, China, Korea, Honduras, and Tanzania. He currently serves as a cool principal investigator on three federally funded grants to promote STEM education in the United States and Africa. Our third recipient is Lori Ringhand, J. Elton Hush, Professor of Law in the School of Law. Professor Ringhan inspires students to think critically and analytically in courses that include constitutional law, election law, and state and local government law. Her teaching is complemented by her status as a preeminent constitutional law scholar. She was recently awarded a grant from the Stanton Foundation to develop and teach an undergraduate course called Democracy and the Constitution. She is the co-author of two books, including one that is part of a series of case books dedicated to incorporating active teaching and learning methods into traditional law school case books. Professor Ringhan shares her expertise internationally as well, having served as a Fulbright visiting professor at the University of Aberdeen in Scotland and a faculty member for the Georgia Law Oxford Semester Program. Our next recipient of the MEX professorship is Joe Smith, Associate Professor of Small Animal Internal Medicine in the College of Veterinary Medicine. Dr. Smith directs the college's Small Animal Internal Medicine Residency Program and takes an all-encompassing approach to teaching. In addition to helping students and clinicians gain biomedical knowledge, she has developed professional skill trainings that include communications, ethics and jurisprudence, cultural competence, and fostering a diverse and inclusive environment. Dr. Smith also identified well-being and resilience as priority areas for inclusion. Her efforts led to an ad hoc well-being committee 
the creation of a well-being strategic plan for DVM students and several student support programs. With support from the Center for Teaching and Learning, Dr. Smith Cole launched a faculty learning community to support the development of high quality instruction. Our final recipient of the Max Professorship this year is Zachary Wood, Professor of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology in the Franklin College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Wood promotes student engagement by participating in virtual study groups that are designed to overcome the logistical difficulties associated with in-person study groups. To further stimulate peer learning, he is spearheading the development of a free online textbook for his introductory biochemistry course that is being authored by honor students. Dr. Wood is an internationally renowned researcher in the field of protein structure and function who provides undergraduate students with experiential learning opportunities in his lab. He serves as graduate coordinator for his department, where he established a lecture series to celebrate a graduate student's first publication by inviting them to give a seminar featuring their work. Congratulations to all of the 2021 Max Distinguished Teaching Professors. You are now a part of a legacy of instructional excellence at the University of Georgia. Now we will move forward onto our awards for excellence in research. Research conducted at the University of Georgia broadens our understanding of the human condition addresses problems that threaten our security and well-being, and promotes economic development. In short, UGA research changes the world for the better. Over the last year, we continued moving our research enterprise forward along several dimensions despite the pandemic. Dozens of UGA faculty pivoted their research programs to study the novel coronavirus, providing critical insights to inform the development of diagnostics, therapeutics, and vaccines, among other areas. We achieved nearly a half a billion dollars in overall research and development expenditures last year. We hired two new Georgia Research Alliance eminent scholars, including the first Johnny Isaacson Chair and GRA eminent scholar in Parkinson's research. We returned to the number one spot in the nation for new products developed by industry partners from UGA Research. And we have remained on track to open the first phase of the interdisciplinary STEM research complex later this year. I want to thank our dedicated faculty, staff, and students for the essential roles you are playing to advance our research enterprise. To our honorees, I appreciate your innovative spirit and dedication to discovery. Congratulations once again. First among our 2021 research honorees, I would like to present the winners of a series of three awards established by the UGA Research Foundation to recognize junior faculty whose research, creative, and scholarly achievements indicate an aggressive trajectory toward an exceptional sustained research career and an imminent rise to international stature. Awards are given annually in three disciplinary areas named for three past UGA presidents. The Michael F. Adams Award is given to a young faculty member in the humanities and arts. This year's recipient is Dimitra Tomlaudis, assistant professor in the Lamar Dodd School of Art. Professor Tom Laudis is honored for her work in the field of contemporary jewelry, 
She blends the traditions of craft with new technologies and contemporary visual thinking to explore how jewelry signifies personal experience. Her work has been exhibited in dozens of national and international exhibitions. The Fred C. Davidson Award is given to a young faculty scholar in the sciences. This year's recipient is Brandon Rodevera, an assistant professor with appointments in the College of Engineering and the Department of Chemistry. Dr. Rodevera is receiving this award for his physical chemistry research on reaction mechanisms of advanced biofuels, which is aimed at advancing sustainable energy goals for next generation combustion systems. The Charles B. Knapp Award is given to a young faculty scholar in the behavioral and social sciences. This year's winner is Katherine Ehrlich, assistant professor in the Department of Psychology in the Franklin College. Dr. Ehrlich is recognized for her exceptional work in the fields of health, developmental, and social psychology. Her research focuses on how children's experiences of everyday stressors and adversity are associated with their mental and physical health across the lifespan. The university established the Creative Research Medals in 1980 to recognize a distinct and exceptional research or creative project performed by a mid-career faculty member with extraordinary impact and significance to their field of study. This year, the peer committee selected four recipients. Our first winner is Lisa Stepanova, Associate Professor of Piano in the Hugh Hodgson School of Music. Dr. Stepanova is recognized for her recent album, E Pluribus Unum, a research project conceptualized as a response to anti-immigrant rhetoric and a celebration of artistic contributions of immigrants to American culture. It features works by nine composers with immigrant backgrounds who currently live in the United States and includes three world premiere recordings. Our next winner is Zachary Wood, professor of biochemistry and molecular biology in the Franklin College. Dr. Wood is honored for his research in protein structure and function, particularly his work on a human enzyme that has revealed a novel mechanism of protein evolution. His findings have addressed lingering questions about how the often ignored unstructured portions of proteins play an important role in shaping function. Our third winner is David Gay, professor of mathematics in the Franklin College. Dr. Gay is recognized for his development of trisections of four manifolds, a novel way of representing and studying topology and geometry of four-dimensional spaces, which, along with higher dimensional spaces, have become a foundation for modern mathematics and physics. Dr. Gay's colleagues report using trisections to provide new insights into long-standing questions and say he has generated an entirely new school of thought in the field. Our final winner is Amanda Abraham, Associate Professor of Public Administration and Policy in the School of Public and International Affairs. Dr. Abraham's research focuses on substance use disorder and she explores the sociological dimensions of treatment ranging from organizational change to the impact of government policy on the accessibility and quality of treatment. Reflecting her expertise, she recently served on the Attorney General's statewide opioid task force. The Creative Research Awards recognize established investigators who whose overall scholarly body of work have had a major impact on their field of study and have established the investigator's international reputation as a leader in the field. Awards are given annually in three discipline areas named for three renowned UGA professors. First is the Albert Christ Janer Award, which recognizes outstanding work in the creative arts and humanities. It was established in 1970 in honor of the university's first Callaway Professor of Art, an artist of varied form and endless creativity. This year's winner is Rachel Gabara, Associate Professor of French in the Department of Romance Languages. Dr. Gabara receives this award for her scholarship bringing together works from France and Francophone Africa, most recently to develop a new field of study 
in nonfiction filmmaking in sub-Saharan Africa. The Lamar Dodd Award is named for the one-time head of UGA's art department who was one of the uh, most recognized Georgia artists of his generation and is the namesake of our Lamar Dodd School of Art. This award, established in 1981, honors an outstanding body of work in the natural sciences. This year's award goes to M. Stephen Trent, UGA Foundation Distinguished Professor in the Department of Infectious Diseases in the College of Veterinary Medicine. Dr. Trent is recognized as an international leader in determining how key bacterial structures are synthesized and how these structures impact antibiotic resistance and vaccine development. A major contribution is how surface lipopolysaccharides are assembled, transported, and remodeled during bacterial infection. Our third Creative Research Award is the William A. Owens Award, named for the founding director of the Owens Institute for Behavioral Research. Established in 1985, this award recognizes outstanding work in the social and behavioral sciences. This year's winner is Lawrence Sweet, Gary R. Sperduto Professor in Clinical Psychology in the Franklin College. Employing a range of multidisciplinary approaches, Dr. Sweet is recognized for his contributions to the neuroscientific understanding of human lifespan development, addiction, and health, and for fostering this research among faculty and students across departments. The Distinguished Research Professorship recognizes senior faculty members who are internationally recognized for their innovative body of work and its transformational impact. The professorship is awarded to individuals working at the very top of their discipline who are recognized as preeminent leaders in their field of study. Our first Distinguished Research Professor is Nick Heining professor in the Department of Geography in the Franklin College. Dr. Heining works as scholar activist in human geography under the broad umbrella of social and environmental justice. He studies how social movement institutions organize across space to identify and secure adequate resources for communities. He's a member of the steering committee for the NSF Research Network, Housing Justice in Unequal Cities, which brings together research communities to study eviction, homelessness, displacement, segregation, and informal housing settlements. Dr. Heine is also an advisory board member for a new partnership funded by the Mellon Foundation between the UGA's Wilson Center for Humanities and Arts and the Penn Center National Historic Landmark District. Our second distinguished research professor is Pim Ma, professor of statistics in Franklin College. Dr. Ma works across related fields of data science, machine learning, and bioinformatics. He develops novel statistical theory and efficient machine learning algorithms, as well as a wide range of interdisciplinary applications of those tools. His contributions has helped harness big data through techniques such as subsampling, which makes traditional computation intensive method feasible for extremely large samples without the need of high performance computing. His work has been applied to the analysis of a wide variety of data, such as data monitoring the dynamics of the Earth, streaming data from Internet of Things security monitoring, and epigenetic data showing physiological and genetic modifications unique to every individual. Our third distinguished research professor is Deborah Moni. Georgia Athletic Association Professor in Complex Carbohydrate Research and Professor in the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Dr. Monin's seminal contributions to understanding the glycobiology of plant cell walls have been accompanied by equally important work 
in genetically adapting plant species for use in biofuels and other applications. In 2018, she and her team identified a gene in poplar and switchgrass that when silenced resulted in cell walls that were more easily broken down to access the plant's sugars while at the same time promoting the plant to grow more vigorously. Dr. Moning has played a leadership role in the U.S. Department of Energy's flagship center for bioenergy innovation, which is a national consortium of researchers from academia, government, and private institutions. Our next distinguished research professor is Cass Moda, the Stanley Wade Sheldon UGA Foundation Professor of International Affairs in the School of Public and International Affairs. Dr. Moda is a world-leading scholar of populism and of the radical right politics. He was the first to make the case that radical right politics is better understood as a radical interpretation of mainstream values that reflect a pathological normacy. While previous scholars consider the radical right to be fleeting or a singular response to turmoil, Dr. Moda has argued that it must be considered as part of democracy, even as its existence threatens liberal democratic ideals. His work is also unique in its careful examination of modern populism, developing the idea that populism centers on perceived divisions between a small corrupt elite and a large, long corrupt general population. Our final distinguished research professor is Andrew Zuwaki, professor of English in the Franklin College. Hired in 2005 as a poet and translator with the UK equivalent of a Master of Fine Arts degree, Dr. Zuwaki earned his PhD in social thought from the University of Chicago while teaching full-time at UGA. He was promoted to a full professor in 2017. Over his 15 years at the UGA, he has published five award-winning books of poetry in the United States, along with four books in France. He's the editor of several volumes and has translated books by French, Slovenian, and Moroccan poets. He's currently working on translations from French, of poet and Portugal, and of World War II era novels, in addition to his own photo prose creative work about Paris graffiti. Congratulations to our newest distinguished research professors and all the winners of this year's research awards. Our next set of awards recognizes excellence in public service and outreach. Within days after we sent students and most faculty and staff home last spring, our dedicated public service and outreach employees had begun adapting to a virtual platform to continue providing programs and services online, many of them at no cost to the client. The University of Georgia Small Business Development Center began working with business owners immediately after the CARES Act was approved in March 2020, providing much needed grants and loans to businesses that had been forced to close. Campus Kitchen, which usually relies on hundreds of student volunteers to operate, stayed in service because of committed faculty, staff, and volunteers who jumped in to make sure that food insecure families in Athens still had meals delivered weekly. These are just a few examples of how public service and outreach continued to fulfill the University of Georgia's land grant mission during the pandemic. There are many, many more. Congratulations to this year's award winners, and thank you to all of the faculty and staff 
in public service and outreach for all that you have accomplished in the past year amid the challenges we have faced. You go the extra mile every day to improve Georgia's communities and help residents prosper. Our first public service and outreach award today is the Hill Award. This honor is named for Chancellor Walter B. Hill, who led the University of Georgia from 1899 to 1905. Chancellor Hill was a pioneer who helped define the university's modern public service and outreach mission. For 29 years, the Hill Awards have recognized distinguished achievements by public service faculty who have contributed to a better quality of life for the people of Georgia. This year, we are presenting five Hill Awards. Our first Hill Award honoree is Carolina Darbisi. As a senior faculty member at the J.W. Fanning Institute for Leadership Development, Dr. Darbisi has helped build strong pipelines of leadership among women, multicultural populations, and in public health circles. With the College of Public Health, she designed and helps lead UGA's Public Health Leadership Academy, as well as a regional public health institute that serves eight southeastern states. Our next Hill Award honoree is Lee Elkins. As a senior faculty member in the Carl Vinson Institute of Government, Ms. Elkins has been instrumental in helping communities integrate natural resources into economic development projects and protecting the state's environment. She oversaw the public input process in the development of Georgia's statewide water management plan and she worked with the state to review plan implementation and determine next steps. Ms. Elkins has built a reputation as a specialist in natural resources, community planning, and design. Our third Hill Award winner is Carrie Hobbs. A UGA Extension 4-H specialist, Ms. Hobbs' work resulted in a more efficient program to prepare volunteers for 4-H which has been adopted across Georgia and in other states. She also brought a national leadership and educational outreach program called My Pie, My Preparedness Initiative to Georgia high school students. So far, more than 150 Georgia youth have participated in My Pie, learning about emergency preparedness in their communities and how to be prepared for emergencies at home. Our fourth Hill Award goes to Mark Lupo. As the Business Education and Resilience Specialist for the UGA Small Business Development Center, Mr. Lupo has built a national reputation as an expert in business continuity and emergency preparedness. His unique skill set and experiences proved invaluable over the past year as he coordinated the SBDC's statewide response to the COVID-19 pandemic. More than 14,000 people tuned into the webinars that Mr. Lupo produced to help small businesses apply for federal loans and grants. Our last Hill Award winner is David Tanner. As Associate Director of State Services and Support for the Carl Vinson Institute of Government, Mr. Tanner helped launch an overhaul of Georgia's juvenile justice system. That led to more than 7,000 youth being redirected from detention to community-based mental health programs. He was lead facilitator on Georgia's High Demand Career Initiative, which led to workforce development projects with schools and business organizations. David has helped lead more than 14 workforce development projects all across Georgia, improving quality of life for thousands of Georgians. The Engaged Scholar Award recognizes a tenured associate or full professor who has made significant career-spanning contributions to the University of Georgia's public service mission through scholarship, service learning opportunities for students, and campus leadership. The award serves to sustain or enhance the honorees' public service and outreach endeavors or to develop new ones. The 2021 Engaged Scholar Award is presented to Edward Degado Romero, 
Associate Dean and Professor of Counseling and Human Development Services in the Mary Frances Ernie College of Education. Dr. Diogado Romero has increased the engagement of the university with the Latinx community and helped diversify the student body. In his 17 years at the UGA, he has formed Tangang partnerships that address the critical mental health need of the Latinx population and help train the next generation of bilingual and bicultural psychologists and social workers. He founded an integrated multicultural research, teaching and service team for students, and later worked with the community partners to establish a bilingual, bicultural psychological clinic where UGA graduate students provided free services to the Latinx community. As a licensed psychologist, he provided psychological services and supervises doctor students in their practicum placements. It is also my honor today to announce the Walter B. Hill Distinguished Public Service Fellow. The Hill Fellow is the university's premier award recognizing public service and outreach. The selection committee considers long-term achievements, special projects having extraordinary impact, and collaborative efforts that improve quality of life in Georgia. Only past Hill Award winners are eligible to become a Hill Fellow. The 2021 Walter B. Hill Distinguished Public Service Fellow Award goes to Robert Camerite, Jr., a professor and extension specialist in plant pathology in the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. During his 21 years at the UGA, Dr. Camerite has made significant contributions in securing the food supply both here and abroad by helping growers protect their crops against disease and weather. He specializes in disease and nematode management of peanuts, corn, cotton, and soybeans. He led the effort to create the Peanuts Rx, an internationally recognized disease forecasting tool for peanuts farmers. Dr. Kamarai uses training, lectures, farm visit, and daily row crop disease update to prepare extension agents to address challenges. He has been a part of USAID-funded development projects through which he worked with farmers in Guyana, Haiti, and the Philippines. Congratulations to Dr. Kamarai and all of our Public Service and Outreach Award winners. Our next set of awards recognizes faculty members with an extraordinary record of accomplishment across all three components of the university's mission. They inspire students and engage in research and scholarship whose impact reaches out across our state and the world. We will begin with the Southeastern Conference Faculty Achievement Award. This honor was created a decade ago by the SEC to honor professors at each of its 14 member institutions who have outstanding records in teaching and scholarship and who serve as role models for students and other faculty members. The University of Georgia's 2021 recipient of the SEC Faculty Achievement Award is Peggy Ozias Akins. Dr. Ozias Akins is the D.W. Brooks Professor and Distinguished Research Professor in the College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. She is a global leader in the application of biotechnology to the improvement of crops that are a vital source of nutrition for millions of people around the world. In addition to her research accomplishments, she is an innovative instructor and dedicated mentor to students, both at the undergraduate and graduate levels. Since 2012, she has directed the university's Institute for Plant Breeding, Genetics and Genomics, and its graduate training program. 
She gives undergraduate students supervised research opportunities in her lab and has expanded her instructional reach outside the University of Georgia through her mentorship of high school students and her outreach to K-12 teachers. Our next award is the University Professorship, which recognizes individuals who are dedicated to improving the quality with which the university serves its missions. This year, the title of University Professor is bestowed upon two faculty members. Our first University Professor is Timothy Adams, Jr., the Mildred Goodren Hayward Professor in the Hugh Hudson School of Music. Professor Adams is a highly accomplished composer, recording artist, and author of numerous pedagogical materials. Over the course of his 40-year career, he has worked with many of the world's leading musicians, conductors, composers, and recording artists. Professor Adams is a passionate advocate for innovation and a champion for advancing diversity, equity, and inclusion. Under his direction, the percussion studio in the Hudson School has grown in both reputation and achievement to its current status as one of the finest studios in the nation. Our next university professor is James N. Moore. Dr. Moore is a Josiah Meggs Distinguished Teaching Professor and a Distinguished Research Professor in the College of Veterinary Medicine. He is one of the world's leading experts on equine gastrointestinal diseases and his work has made UGA a global center of excellence for colic research. In addition to his research contributions, Dr. Moore is known for his development of innovative instructional materials. The electronic resources he developed, which use 3D models to convey complex subjects in anatomy and physiology, are used in veterinary schools and practices worldwide. The Regents Professorships are bestowed by the Board of Regents to truly distinguished faculty members whose scholarship or creative activity is recognized nationally and internationally as innovative and pace-setting. Two faculty members are being honored with the Regents Professorship this year. Our first Regents Professor is Diane Marie Amon. Professor Amon is the Emily and Ernest Woodruff Chair of International Law in the School of Law. She is one of the world's foremost experts on how national, regional, and international legal regimes combat atrocity and cross-border crime. Her expertise was recently recognized through her election to the Council on Foreign Relations, a nonpartisan organization composed of some of the world's most prominent foreign policy leaders. Her current research will produce the first ever book on the roles of women professionals at the post-World War II war crimes trial before the International Military Tribunal at Nuremberg. Our next Regents Professor is Stephen Beach, Distinguished Research Professor in the Department of Psychology in the Franklin College. Dr. Beach's scholarship focuses on the way community, family, and marital processes interact to affect mental and physical health. His pioneering work and collaborations have shown that strengthening close relationships, including marriage and parenting relationships, can play a critical role in reducing depression and physical health problems. His research also has shown that these relationships can buffer the impact of stress from economic and social factors. 
Dr. Beach and his colleagues work across the state and beyond to translate research findings into programs that can help individuals and families live happier and healthier lives. Before we conclude this virtual celebration of academic excellence, I want to emphasize that the faculty members who we have recognized thus far are among the many outstanding faculty, staff, and students who make the University of Georgia one of America's leading public universities. On your screen, you will see the names of recipients of additional awards given by the university's schools and colleges, the Office of Service Learning, and the Office of Research this year. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to these award winners and hope that viewers will reach out to the individuals you know on these lists to offer them your congratulations as well. The 2020-2021 academic year has been without precedent in the university's 236-year history. The award winners recognized in this ceremony exemplify the University of Georgia's commitment to overcoming any challenges that we may face in carrying out our vital missions of teaching, research and service. I will conclude by extending my congratulations once again to all of this year's award winners and expressing my deep appreciation to the entire University of Georgia community. Thank you for your dedication to this great institution.